Hayes the batter. Late on the swing and a throw down to second as the steal was on and he gets a stolen base easily, but Hayes goes down swinging. Two guys in scoring position. And Carrier will be the hitter. And he is gonna hit a ball deep into the left field corner and that's gonna clear the bases. It'll be a two run double. And the second base goes Carrier. He's the 10 hole hitter. That tells you what we were talking about earlier that even the bottom of the order can hit because these guys are all very good players. And the pitch. Hard hit ball on a third base line, a single in the left field. Here comes Charles into third. The throw will go there, but not in time. And runners are on the corners, first and third. They're throwing him out. Oh, a strike three call on Harris. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning with four, five, and six coming up for Empire. Brit and Blue Designs, the local Louisiana shop, reminds you that they're affordable, they have home decor, they have children's teas, and a whole lot more. And they can customize most items. That's a local Louisiana shop, Brit and Blue Designs, Caitlin and Abraham, uh, Caitlin Abraham, the owner. And the Southeast Showcase Series is one of a kind tournament hosting company that you're watching now that is owned and operated by the Global Scouting Bureau. The focus of these tournaments is identifying and assisting high school age players in advancing to college. Venues throughout the Southeast not only showcase these athletes, but also the junior colleges and universities that these young student athletes will be attending in the future. From live stream games to official stats, the Southeast Showcase Series is is where tomorrow's stars play today. Here's the big kick and delivery. And it looked like a slider lead. And the look. At the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He's... Well, there you go. That was a quick inning with three strikeouts. Four. Louisiana is losing a football field of valuable coastal land every half hour. At Nickel State University, nestled in the heart of Louisiana's Bayou region, we are committed to conserving and restoring our lost wetlands. Nichols biology students make the wetlands their classroom through hands-on research and restoration projects. Our Colonel Pride is restoring Louisiana's wetlands. How will you show your Colonel Pride? Bottom of the sixth. And he hits this one hard to left field for a base hit. Not real hard, but hard enough. There's a nice line drive into left. There's a ground ball to third. This could be two, one in the middle, throw to first. And it is a double play. Beautiful play all around. Hard hit ball to third base. Makes a perfect throw to second base. Good pivot. Here's a hard hit ball. Makes a Good throw to second. He throws it high, pulls the first baseman off the bag a little bit, but he turns around and tags the runner before the runner can tag the base. Good, good play. Here's the pitch, swung on and high fly ball. That one skied the center field, waiting under it, making the catch. And essentially it's a one, two, three inning after a base hit and a double play. No runs, one hit, no errors, and nobody left. At the end of six full innings, the score remains 8-4, Legends. Back after this. Brit and Blue Designs, the local Louisiana shop, reminds you that they're affordable, they have home decor, they have children's teas, and a whole lot more. And they can customize most items. That's a local Louisiana shop, Brit and Blue Designs, Caitlin Abraham, the owner. And the Southeast Showcase Series is one of a kind tournament hosting company that you're watching now that is owned and operated by the Global Scouting Bureau. The focus of these tournaments is identifying and assisting high school age players in advancing to college. Venues throughout the Southeast not only showcase these athletes, but also the junior colleges and universities that these young student athletes will be attending in the future. From live stream games to official stats, the Southeast Showcase Showcase Series is where tomorrow's stars play today. 
You are watching the Southeast Showcase on Pelican Sports TV. We now take you to further action. Sticks with a chance to put a crooked number on the board. Base is loaded with just one out. Grant Ube has walked and scored, and he was hit with a pitch, got a stolen base, and scored. In the third, and this time he hits it up the middle, and the play at second is made by Buckley to throw to first. It's a double play. Well, that, that ball hit right to the defense's advantage, right over the bag. The second baseman went over, caught the ball, touched the bag, made an easy throw to first, and they got out of the inning without real trouble. Yeah, no run score in the inning. So he's 0 for 2 today. And a fly ball to right. And it was going to drop in for a base hit. It gets there early. It might be only 60 pitches when you start wearing down. Here's the pitch. That ball is hit into right field. And a base hit. And the runner will advance to third. And, oh, he did turn on it. A high fly. Ball to right center, but coasting under it, making the catch in center is Anzron. A run will score. It'll be a sacrifice fly, but he, he turned on it pretty good for a 3-0 pitch. Well, he was looking for the pitch. He got it. He hit it long, but not close to the right field fence. Uh, they had no play for the run, uh, run of scoring from third, but uh, he did his job. He got the run in, and uh, he hit the ball hard. And Nola again has scored in every inning now, and here in the fourth, the run is in. <laughs> All right, here's Joe Stevens now. He was hit with a pitch and then tripled. And he hits this one high to right field into the corner. A lot of room down the first base or third base line, so you don't have a big chance to get a pop up. There's a swing and a miss to right three. Here's the stretch and the look, and here's a breaking ball swung on, a big hop to third. Stevens will go to the middle for one, the throw to first, and it's a double play. There's another breaking ball, swung on and missed. Throw down to second, and they got him. Tell you why here in a second. There's a ball that's hit high and deep to right center field. This ball is going to be in the gap, and this ball is alive and right, and a stand up double. Well, he got hold of that one. Me, and I, I just was so impressed with that. He's just, just that kind of a person. Ground ball left side into the left field for a base hit. Now you've got runners at the corners, first and third, with one out. Six. He is two for three. He is the seven hole hitter. Hits this one to the outfield, and one run will score. Into center field with that base hit, and you've got a an eight to seven ball game now. One out, looking for the double play ground ball. There's a hard hit ball to short. This could be it in the middle for one. Throw to first, and no, it's, it's, it's not a double play. A one ball. run scored, two runs scored, and oh baby, we have a new ball game. Here's the 0-2. That ball hit to center field, left center. Drifting over is the left fielder, and he'll make the catch. Being taught that much. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Breaking ball swung on. Shortstop will go to the middle of the easy play, and that'll do it. A fielder's choice will end it here. No runs being scored. There were no hits. They leave a couple of runners on base. And with that, the Accelerators will enjoy a 10-8 victory. That's going to wrap it up for 
Don Landry, the Hall of Famer, thank you for being with us, and I really enjoyed working with you today, Coach. Thank you, Larry. Enjoyed working with you. I, I wish we had had a little better roster list and so forth. We apologize. Uh, but this, uh, the change of venues and everything else caused a little confusion. But we try to do the best we could. And for the Southeast Showcase Series in Thibodeau High School, I'm Larry Madsen saying so long on Pelican Sports.